What's up everybody? Welcome to Midiverse TV. Today we're going to be looking at the MPC-1000 uh, sampler and sequencer and drum machine. And when you first get it, it, it uh, comes with a couple uh, sequences and programs already in it. Uh, just a sort of a demo sequence and sort of a demo uh, program to kind of get you started. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your own drum programs. And you can do it from the machine itself. However, it's kind of a tedious process. Um, you, there's a lot of menu diving and you basically have to go through and assign it pad by pad. Uh, today I'm going to show you a piece of software that makes it quite a bit easier. Uh, it's called MPC Made. And uh, you can come over to the computer here. I'll kind of show you a little bit more what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what the software looks like. I'll go ahead and link it in the information section. Uh, this is MPC Made. And basically what it gives you uh, is a blank slate um, for your programs. You've got your A, B, and C, or excuse me, A, B, C, and D bank, just like on the machine itself. And then you've got your blank pad layouts. And you can see there's four samples uh, layers for each pad, just like on the machine. So they make it really easy here. So basically what I can do is go ahead and uh, grab a folder with some drum sounds in it. Um, this is from the Lin drum, the first one. Here's a snare sound. I can just drag it over and drop it right on the pad. Um, there's what it sounds like. I can click it to get a sample of what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, so basically you just do the same thing for the rest of the program. So you kind of lay out the sounds however you want them on each individual pad. And then once you're done with the program, you go file and export, and that'll export all the samples and the program file itself into a folder for you. And then you just uh, go ahead and lay that uh, on the MPC's compact flash card. And uh, yeah, so I've got one already set up here. This is uh, some samples from the Novation uh, drum station. And this is a sort of an 808 emulation. Got the kick drum on pad one here. Snare on pad two. Open or close hi-hat. Open hi-hat. So yeah, that's what it sounds like. Um, a couple quick uh, sequencing tips we can do. Um, uh, in order to find out what your quantization settings are set to, if you hold down the tap tempo button, uh, you'll see the grid come up here. And you've got eighth notes, eighth note triplets, 16th notes, 16th note triplets, 32nd note, and 32nd note triplets. Uh, right now I have it set to 16th notes. Um, and something uh, that is sort of a time saver is if you hit shift and tap tempo that'll bring up the note repeat so if you know you're going to start your drum groove for example with eighth note closed hi-hats uh, you can just select the eighth notes and then go ahead and record it and i'll do that now so if you push record and play at the same time and that will go ahead and lay down those eighth notes right on the beat for you and there it is so now um Whatever you have selected here is what it's going to be, um, the note repeat quantization is going to be too. So if I click 16th notes, then I can put snare over it like that if I wanted to. It's a pretty cool feature. Uh, something really cool that you can actually use the buttons, the F, uh, the F buttons here to jump through the values in real time too. So we've got our eighth note hi-hats going. Yeah, so that's a kind of a cool time saver if you're going to be playing things right on the beat. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do a quick sequence of that, show you what it would be like. Now I can just hit this main button to get out of the note repeat mode. However, it'll still be the 16th note quantization because that's what we have it set to. Add a little shaker. There's that cowbell sound. <laughs> Gotta have some of that. 
go to a different track here and get some, uh, some 909 sounds. Fatten up a little bit. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have some more MPC videos up soon. Thanks.